<laughs> we're going to do uh, an engine leak town test to make sure that basically nothing about. is going to get where it shouldn't be. So there is uh, basically that the cylinder integrity is not allowing anything to leak either past the piston or past the valve. <laughs> The plan, um, it, it's a really quick test um, to try to understand um, if the, the health of the engine is good. Effectively what we do is replace the spark plug with this machine. Uh, there are certain percentages of cylinder leak that are allowable. Um, anything over that, we potentially have some kind of problem with the engine. So um, we take the spark plugs out, pretty simple, fit the machine, and then we go by firing order of the engine um, and test each cylinder in turn and then make sure that there is nothing, uh, nothing awry with the engine. Don't we? Yes, we do. And then Tom will help. And then Tom will help. We'll turn the engine over by hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is brilliant filming, thanks no, so nice. much. So you, you, what you need is the cylinder at full capacity or a, the, the cylinder at its top position or the cylinder at its bottom top position? Top position, so the valves are closed. Okay, so, so you need the piston at the top position as close as possible to the cylinder head with the valves all closed. And at that point, the cylinder should be completely sealed in theory. So if I plug this in now, it'll either go all the way around or down. Yeah. as low as it can because it's Hear that, mate. one or eight <laughs> low in it. Firing order of this car I've, I've, I've owned for <laughs> four years is what? So that's, that's this car. Yeah. That's the T70 firing order. But this is this was the, one of the first leak downs we've done when um, the first engine first come, which was very high, which is not very good. So what does it mean then? If it, so if it leaks down badly? It means it's leaking. The higher the number. That's the percentage of air that's leaking. Leaking through the rings. valves and yeah, rings, rings and rings. everything. So you can listen whether you can listen down whether it's coming out of the exhaust or the breather tank, which is the ring, be the rings. Oh, I see. And if you listen to the, listen out the exhaust, then you'll hear it coming past the. Yeah. So so if it's going through the if it's going past the piston rings, it'll go through the oil system and out of the breather tank. Then yeah. And then if it's going out the valves, it will come. You'll either hear it come through here. Or out, the out of the exhaust. Yeah. Okay. So that so effectively, if we then get high leak down figures, what it means is either you've got a piston ring that's rubbish and failed, or a valve seat or valve that's yeah, valve seat is not very good, or a valve or stem a warm, that's just broken, or oh, or well, yeah, or just a, a worn cylinder so the valves don't sit against the no, cylinder so nicely. Oh, so the rings, yeah, there's a gap the between the ring and the bore. Yeah, mm. Anything that causes a high leak down try then, try then. is an expensive problem because it's right inside the engine block and it's not there's a case a of, bit. you know, getting the connection right or something like that. It's a big metal thing or, a, or something inside a big metal thing that's failed. Um, really? So actually quite a, quite a nervous yeah. test to do. Uh, at the beginning or, or end of the year whenever we do it because it's one of those that's like you know everyone looks at each other and goes letting a lot cool. of air escape and everyone puts worried faces on and starts talking to their bank manager Talk you through. well good right no, a bit more mm. Mm. stop no 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 i'll go back up again good good but the problem is Bad, bad. And that's... Stop. Potentially quite a big problem. 34%, uh, how far is that over? It's a bit... Yeah. Like, is that you like... Below 20. Yeah, below 20 is, is, is doable. It's gonna be a... It's a 24... Foul seat. Oh, yeah. So right, right 24% on number seven, if you can do that. Great, I love spending time in the workshop with you. Yeah, we don't like it. It's actually quite a nicely organised engine bay considering you did it. 
So believe it or not, I'm quite good at my job. It's just when you have to hang it's around. It's just my it. attitude that's the problem. <laughs> Thanks. Right. Hang on. I'm liking my I'm liking my official role as secretary of this. Okay. So I'm gonna write I'm gonna write bad here. Like that. Is that what that says? Yeah that says bad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Cancelled. My dog can write neater than that. Yeah. My dog can probably drive a car a bit faster. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to be professional here. I'm being nice and I'm um, so, uh, engine leak down to complete, it's sort of fine, um, but the reality is the, the regs have changed, uh, the rules have changed for this year, meaning that the, the top of the exhaust pipes, the exhaust manifolds, uh, need to be a different specification um, to run in the series which the Mustang runs in. Um, that means that given the okay numbers for the leak down test, the fact that it's kind of getting higher on its engine hours and the fact that it needs rebalancing uh, for the airflow of the new uh, exhaust manifolds, well, the different exhaust manifolds that we're gonna have to use, it might as well go away for a rebuild, a rebalance and a sort out all at once. Um, so to the great joy of all who have to, uh, to, do, to do the job, and one of those people is not me, um, the, uh, the engine is gonna come out and go off to Peter Knight to be rebuilt and then come back before the beginning of the season, just in time uh, to run our first event of the year with the Mustang.